here now are some of the best political minds in the state. Wait a minute, didn't I say that last week? All right, I'm saying it again. Chris so Keating, <laughs> the Capitol Bureau Chief with the Harper Current, and Mr. Bill Curry, a political columnist with the Current as well as former Democratic candidate for governor. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Let's start off first with some of the numbers from Hartford. I find the voter turnout pretty fascinating. Let's go to the graphic which has the final numbers. How much uh, the mayor won by? He won by about 1,500 votes. The exact numbers are not there, but let's put it this way. I, Charles Matthew, was came in second, and the Republican candidate, as well as all the others in the field, less than 1,000 votes. Pretty amazing, isn't it, guys? It's pretty amazing. In the, in the city of Hartford, uh, a city of about 124,500 people, uh, 16,000 committed crimes uh, uh, last year. About 6,000 voted for the mayor uh, on, uh, on, on Tuesday. Uh, and it sort of goes to the heart of this. Uh, it's, it's the lowest percentage of eligible voters, I believe, of any community uh, uh, in the state with a competitive election. That was despite six mayoral candidates two political parties and the front runner spending six hundred thousand dollars. Our friend Kevin Rennie also said too that the mayor in Torrington pulled in as many votes as Eddie Perez. Chris? Yeah, there's, there's one thing to remember that the general rule of thumb has become unfortunately for Hartford, Hartford has basically twice as many um, people as West Hartford and Greenwich and in general more people vote in West Hartford and Greenwich than Hartford in any given election. And a lot of people thought that the investigation into May work done at Mayor Perez's house would hurt him. I did ask him about that on election night. Let's go to tape, hear what he had to say. I, Charles Matthew, in the last debate said, in the head-to-head -head debate, he came down pretty hard on you, and he basically told the people of Hartford that they had to be concerned whether or not you were going to be taken out of City Hall in handcuffs. Of course, having to do with the criminal investigation into work done at your house. What is it that you want to say about that investigation? It did, ha it did start on August 16th. It hasn't been wrapped up yet. Are you surprised by that? And should the people of Hartford be worried? People of Hartford shouldn't be worried. They decided uh, that we have a good direction for the city. We're going to take the city in that direction. The most important thing is uh, on the investigations. We've, we've fully cooperated with the investigation. We hope we'll come to a conclusion soon. So what do you think, Bill? Should the people of Hartford be worried? M Mayor Price is well, definitely giving this concerned. blanket sure. statement. Uh, one of the reasons that Hartford remains one of the poorest cities in America, despite uh, uh, being located in one of the wealthiest states, is that it has been the victim of a kind of cash and carry politics for as long as I can remember. And this has been a legitimate issue. Uh, the mayor was very much helped by the fact that two constitutional officers and our own newspaper uh, endorsed him uh, while he was still in the midst of a criminal investigation. I would just say about that, I myself worry. Uh, we've tried so hard in this state to get our state's attorneys looking seriously at the problem of political corruption. Until we do better at that, we're not going to do better at lots of other things. It makes it pretty hard for those uh, uh, state's attorneys now to turn around uh, despite that and conclude their investigation. Chris?